Dokert here, and we're going to test the Audio Regulator 1 today. There are two different versions that I know of for the Audio Regulator 1. There's the AR1-01 and the AR1-03. The Dash-01 is commonly found in Asteroids and Lunar Lander. It has an inline four-position speaker connector. The AR1-03 is commonly found in Asteroids Deluxe and it has a square four position connector for the speaker. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. I mean, uh, the yeah, there's some circuitry differences, but they they do the same job, they come out the same way and they uh, they test out the same way. So, on my uh scat that I pulled out of a lunar lander, I've drawn up the J7 connector plug and for testing you can you can either test on the test lugs or you can use the uh, pins uh, in the J7 plug. One of the biggest problems that people run into when trying to bench test one of these AR1s is that they do not have a load uh, on the power supply. Without a load on the power supply you could be as high as 7 or 8 volts and it won't come down and won't adjust out you need a load of some kind uh, today I'm gonna use a lamp a lamp is not really a good load for this because it's it's not enough of a load you actually need to adjust these using a board set because the board set will put the proper load on there and make your adjustment correct so without uh, further ado we'll uh, we'll rock on you need to apply power uh, at the J6 connector and J6 connector goes there and here's my lamp that I'm going to be placing on the J7 connector I'll be using the test lugs so that I can continue one-handed because it's a pain to try and try and do it any other way the test lug on, on a lot of the AR2s is uh, mislabeled and it's called sense. That's actually the 5 volt test point, not the sense. So the ground lug is right there, the plus 5 lug is there. Set your meter for your DC voltage, and I'm going to apply power to it using my power brick. So I've got 5.009. My lamp is on, everything's good. Where these adjust at is they adjust at R8. R8 is going to be this this pot right here. And that'll allow you to adjust up or down. If, uh, if you have a board set and you're testing with a board set and you have 7 or 8 volts and it will not come down, it's a very good possibility that your LM305 regulator right here, this little can guy with eight legs on it, is probably bad. Uh, I think they're still available from Bob Roberts, and if they're not, the NTE equivalent is a 724. Uh, a lot of times what commonly fails on the AR1 is this diode right here next to J7 and or this diode right over next to the heat sink. Uh, those, those usually fail because of the sense lines. And either do the sense mod or clip the sense lines either way and that eliminates that problem. Uh, the sense lines cause, cause over voltage normally because the edge connector to your game is bad. It's, it's old, it's sprung, and it's just not making good contact. A lot of times you can clean up the edge connector or you can clean up the board fingers and it'll cure that problem. Uh, best to just replace the edge connector and me personally I don't do the sense mod I remove the sense lines altogether. I just I just cut them right at the connectors. Uh, the next thing that we'll do is we'll we'll come back at another time and we'll cover the AR2s and all of the different versions of those and all the different voltages applied there. The other thing that you can test on the AR1 is to verify that your 10.3 or 10.6 is good in 
and that is simply off of this lug right up here at top. Now keep in mind, as you can see on my meter, it's 13.3. The reason it's 13.3 is because it, it is unregulated voltage coming in. It gets regulated on this board down. So 13, 14, 15 volts is all acceptable and within range. That's what I have for today.